Hi, YouTube family. We are going grocery shopping today, but first, gotta get gas. So we're gonna head to Costco first as usual, and then hit Sam's and Walmart. The only thing on my list that I need from Kroger is this one thing. So I may like scratch it, or I may go tomorrow. I don't know. Um, it's gonna be a short list today. And I'm gonna try to only get that those things because those are the things that I need um, for the two weeks worth of groceries. I think that's pretty good. Um, unless I see something that's just like such a good deal, I cannot pass it up, then I will get it. But other than that, those are gonna be the only things that I really look for and try to make this a quick one. And we will see y'all at Costco. Costco. Coffee. The best price for the Maxwell House, like I like, for 42 and a half ounces is the same. 42 and a half ounces, both of these containers. At Kroger is $12.99. At Walmart is $10.48, which makes it 25 cents an ounce. Here, it is 44 ounces, so two extra ounces or an ounce and a half more for $9.99. So we're gonna go with this one here. We also have been in here for a minute, and I got two Christmas presents in here so i'm not going to show them to you in case that person happens to watch this video these are not on sale i've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for them to be marked down and they just have not now watch me get it and then next month they'll be marked down but for the price of 9.89 it is two packages of 34 and a half ounces um it is a lot in here it takes a long time for us to go through one of these bags and I am going to get extra milk this time to make some homemade yogurt in the crock pot. So this, with the yogurt, will be some breakfast for you. $8.99 for two pounds of strawberries. And it goes like they're on sale for $5.99 for two pounds. So we're going to get these here. I'm going to get another thing of croissants. These are the best croissants. And they're the same price as the ones at Sam's. So we're going to get these here. Half and half again, $1.99 here. Um, $2.99 at Kroger for Kroger brand, $2.60 for Walmart brand, $2.24 for Members Mark brand. Here it's $1.99. Grab two of those because somebody has started drinking coffee. Wonder who that could so I'm going through it faster now than I was. Milk beats $3.42 at Sam's. It's $3.39 here. I'm getting them here. This time I'm getting five, four as our regular, and I'm going to get an extra one to make yogurt in the Instant Pot. Ahead and pick up one of these. I love these. They're $12.99. I wish they would put them on markdown, but they never do. But I can't buy lunch for me for $13 even one time, and that plus the croissants will be several lunches for me. So that's a cheap meal. I am low on these. I think I have like maybe five of these left in the box at home in the food storage. And with the holidays coming up, we will be using them. And they have them down to $6.49 a box. So we're gonna grab one of these here, even though it wasn't on my list. Hey, okay, let's go check out before we find anything else and go to Sam's. I am low, I have four cans left of diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna grab one of these while I am here. I hate they're not on sale, but it is what it is. I'm slightly low on mayonnaise, and this is instant savings, $1.50 off, down to $5.98, which makes it really, really cheap per bottle of mayonnaise. So we're gonna grab this while we're here. All right, Jelly. Nice. We're gonna grab this. I never buy this because it is so expensive, but it's typically $8, and now it's $5.58, and it's 50 packets. And they're calling for us to have a really hard winter this year. So I'm going to go ahead and grab these because they're on for instant savings because we're having Thanksgiving at my house. I'm having care group, hosting a care group with probably, I don't know, 20 to 30 people the first Saturday of December in my house. And then we have Christmas at my house. So I need a variety for my coffee bar. The Maxwell House we bought at Costco will be for me and Bailey to just drink on the daily basis so get it the maxwell house we're making lots of coffee for me and you that's for the coffee bar don't drink those bananas both here and costco are 49 cents a pound but costco did not have hardly any and they looked really bad so i'm just gonna get bananas here i'm gonna get these and we can do subway sandwiches at home this is a six count we can either do a foot long like this or cut it in half 
you know, and do a six inch or whatever. So I'm gonna get these, and then I'm probably gonna go get some ham and turkey over there. Okay, we're gonna do honey ham. And oven roasted turkey. I'm probably gonna sort this out and like put half of it in the freezer in Ziploc bags. And the same with the provolone cheese. We're gonna get some provolone for sandwiches and then put like half of it in the freezer for later. Grab two more loaves of bread. You'll get two of those slaws right there. It says homestyle slaw with $6.98. We need to take slaw Saturday night because they're having a hayride bonfire for Colson's age youth group and we are bringing slaw. So I'm gonna grab two of those. And then I need mozzarella cheese for a recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one right here. While she's over there getting the slaw, I'm gonna grab this. And again, I can always portion this out into Ziploc bags and put it in the freezer. Raisin Bran is on instant savings for $7.98. Was $9.98. So she's gonna get this because she likes Razor Brand, just like Granddaddy. <laughs> she also got one of these because they're on for six forty-eight when they are normally six ninety-eight, so fifty cents. But still, she likes fruity pebbles too. All right, Colson's Youth Group is having their friends giving that they have every year Sunday at lunch in between services and it's always a brunch and I signed up to bring muffins. So I'm gonna do little mini muffins because they're, I mean, they're kids and I don't know if they'll eat a whole like big jumbo muffin or not. So we're gonna get blueberry, let's see. There's banana nut. I'm gonna get a banana nut. I don't know if they'll eat chocolate chip. Those are kind of squished banana nut and then we'll do this variety one down here because these have blueberry and chocolate chip we're gonna get the blueberries for the yogurt that I'm gonna make and then also I'm gonna make try to make some muffins as well maybe and shredded lettuce for sandwiches and then I'm also probably going to do some enchiladas. So grab those. Grab tomatoes. My Walmart is still torn up. This is the Mega Mount. And then there is all of this. So I'm just going to get my eyebrow pencil. Is this? I've never tried this before. We're going to find out. But it's $5. And all the rest of them are minimum $8, $9. Let's see? So we're just gonna try this one for five. Let's see. Mm -mm. Look, it's just like basically, it's got marshmallows. It's like kicks with marshmallows, basically. Seventy-five cents. I mean, who cares if it's Halloween, right? We're gonna get these. Four, five, six. Seven. They're not going to go bad for a long time. I need a small, just plain yogurt for a starter for the yogurt that I'm going to make. Because you, you got to have the culture somewhere to start it in the Instant Pot. And we're going to do a crock pot meal that calls for ricotta cheese. But it calls for 15 ounces. Is this one 15 ounces? Yes, for 248. So that's what I'm getting. Whew, everything is just a mess. Like stuff all in the piles. It's a mess. But the chicken broth is all the way down to a dollar, which makes it the cheapest of everybody. Dollar forty nine for Kroger brand. Dollar forty one each is what it came out to for the Sam's brand as a pack of six. Costco had them for a dollar sixty seven each. So a dollar it is, and they're typically a dollar thirty-seven. So we're gonna get a whole bunch of boxes of these because we may or may not need them for dressing. Just remembered, I need cream of broccoli soup to make broccoli rice casserole for Thanksgiving, and 
for whatever reason, I guess they don't make it anymore. It used to be only the Camel's brand made it. And now I'm having trouble finding it in the Camel's. So, I guess I'm gonna have to do like I did the last couple of times and just go with this instead. Just use the last of the chili beans and the chili tomatoes for Halloween night chili. So we're gonna get these here. Bailey, I need help. Last stop is Kroger. These are whole berries. I don't want whole berry. I need the jelly. That's so we might have to go look for it in there. Bailey and I had a great genius idea. Since we have leftover Halloween candy, we're gonna chop it up and put it in vanilla ice cream. Make candy ice cream. <laughs> Is that, that's not, okay. Vanilla. Found it. I'm just gonna get two cans. Cause Ooh. I think I have one in home. Okay, hey, we're back home. I could not finish this out last night with the internet acting up, or it's actually technically Kroger's website and Kroger's app was down for some reason. So when I came to find out how much um, different things were at Walmart and Kroger that were not on my list originally that I just found, like the granola, like the Swiss Miss at Sam's, those different things that I did not already have priced out for Kroger and Walmart stuff on my list and I just grabbed it while I was there. I needed to see what that costs in other stores so that I can know how much money I actually saved. Well, I could get all the Walmart prices. I could not get Kroger. So I had to wait for this morning to finish that out. So it's another day. And I will say also, I was able to get, I don't think I showed you, Bailey grabbed um, a at Walmart a like zip up sweatshirt jacket like hoodie but it's not a hoodie it's like zips all the way up um she wanted one of those since it's starting to get cooler because she has a heavier coat but not anything lightweight and then so I didn't count that in my totals and then I also found her because my Walmart is completely redoing everything like you're getting like a whole like overhaul in there so a lot of stuff is on clearance and they had blue jeans marked down to five dollars so I was able to get her two pair of blue jeans for $5 each. So that was also a savings, but I did not count this, that in these totals. I also did not include in these totals the Christmas present for that person over in that other room over there. Then I can't say what it is. So I did not count that either. But just know everything that I've got is for four of us for two weeks, plus stuff for the bonfire event this weekend for church and then his Colson's little Friendsgiving event at church and then we have a couple at church that just had a baby yesterday finally after three little boys they had a little girl it's so exciting so we're going to be taking them a meal as well so that is also in there so a lot of extra stuff that's not our groceries for us for and for two weeks so all in all I also have um, yogurt going right now in my Instant Pot. I will link that video description. I've done a video on that before if you're interested in doing that. That was a really big savings because it was like $17 worth of yogurt. If I, I looked it up and like if it was Yoplait brand, a whole gallon of yogurt would have come out to like $15. And if it was Dannon brand, a whole gallon was like $17. And I spent $4.03 on a gallon of milk and a 64 cent little yogurt because you have to have a starter to start the cultures. That was it. So I get a gallon of yogurt for $4. So that was a huge savings. The K cups were like $50 worth of K cups for $26. The Swiss Miss, I want to say was like 30 something dollars worth of Swiss Miss for $5. I got a lot of really good deals that I just couldn't pass up. If I had skipped out on the K cups, the Swiss Miss, the, um, that cereal I got at Walmart was $38 worth of cereal for 75 cents a box. So I paid $5 and something for all that cereal when it was really like $38 had I bought it at full price. So that was a really good deal. Had I not bought all that, I probably would have been under what I was shooting for budget wise this time, but I totally justified going over what I really wanted to spend. So that being said, all in all, everything was worth $500 and 
and 61 cents. But I only paid out of pocket $265.36, that was what I spent, okay? Which means I saved us $246.25, which comes out to a 48% savings. So all in all, I really don't feel like that is too bad because if you say $265 and that's for two weeks, so that's what, a hundred and... I can't math today, 265, 36 divided by two, $132 and 68 cents. So $133 a week for four people plus extra food for other things outside of this house. I really don't think that's bad at all. So I am not too upset over it. That extra money that I'm not spending on groceries right now is going to go towards Christmas presents. Um, I'm pretty well set. I talked to my mom. We're pretty well set on Thanksgiving food items. We just have to get like the produce things that I can't buy right now that will go bad if I buy them right now. Milk, stuff like that, right closer to time. And, and the turkey. We got to find a turkey once they go on sale. And we're good for Thanksgiving because I have stockpiled all year long. So I hope this video helps you. Um, go see what you can find. And we will see y'all on the next video. Thank you for watching and all the support. I love you very much. And if you're not subscribed yet and you like content like this, please just subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And then that way you don't miss any videos. We'll talk to y'all next time. Bye.